carbon was oxidation. So based on this, uh, we, we, we basically, what we did, as some of you know, uh, Dow has a strong technology uh, for oxidation. So oxidation is the oxidation, carbon and also you can do the beautification with the BO cap. So by changing from EO to BO, you basically change the earth from a little bit hydrophilic to a more hydrophobic. So by looking at the different uh, customer needs, we designed the, the, the series of the OSP polymers from resorted from 32 to all the way to 680. And if you look at the uh, the resorted at the 100, oh, okay, the resorted index is relatively lower compared to our traditional EOPO uh, PETs. But I can talk to you later how we can boost the resorted index to be like uh, over 200 or 250. And if you look at uh, 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 the flash point and the fair point, I would say, I would say probably it's a reasonable. But the, the power point, you see all the power point is because you have more the oily uh, properties coming from these PETs. All the power point oh, sorry, is below like a, a 30 degrees degrees. So compared to the typical PETs, Oil-based PEDs. What kind of benefit you can have by having this kind of new kind of PED? If you like look at the, the key applications of the PED, traditional EOPO derivative PEDs, it can be used as a primary base oil in the formulations. So, for example, creating hydraulic fluid and uh, uh, hydraulic fluid, the uh, test lubricant, scale bear oil. And also, you can use the additives in some of the population work. So in the water-based population work, you can use the TED to increase the duplication performance, to improve the uh, duplication performance. But looking at the OSPs, if you, if we, by, you, by having this new phase uh, uh, oil-soluble polymer, you can see not only you can use it as a primary base oil, we are designing this one as a co-based oil. So later on, you can see, by having this OSP either in the mineral oil or in the PA-based oil, how this OSP can help you make you make your performance a little bit better. And then as the additives, it can be you know give you the same function as the traditional PAD can give you in terms of deficit control, free chain improvement. And definitely the high molecule one, you can use it as a resource in the order in your formulation. In your formulation. Okay. Another thing we we know for the for some base oil, the base oil especially for the you know, mineral oil is much cheaper. So some customers tend to want to use this for some non you know critical applications. But the mineral oil you do see an issue we call the clean issue or the wattage issue. Especially if you run the machine at a longer uh, time and uh, at a elevated the temperature. So how OSP can help to improve the performance if you don't want to spend a lot of money to use the pure synthetic fluid? We can give you another option by having, you know, introducing a little bit of OSP to improve the the, the varnish and the, the deposit uh, formation performance. If you look at this, is the Group one mineral oil after you know three days, seven days in pure like over two months. This is at like, 100 degrees. You see you know the deposition on the wall and uh, because it's the dark, if you do the centrifugation. So from the composition, I, I would say you know again it's not finally validated. We need time to test the performance. Not only in our lab, we have to give our formulator. And the formulator has to give our end user to say how the performance looks like compared to the current mineral oil or the other synthetic oil. 
And uh, also, the OST is used as a boost. It, do, it, it does help you boost the viscosity index and also improve the varnish and the deposition performance. Uh, so, in addition to the primary base oil, you can use it as additives. Right now, uh, we, we already commercialize not every breed. So if you want a sample, we can offer you a lab sample for sure. But commercially, we are going to launch the several breeds of this OST in the US. Uh, we are going to 